Thank you very much. On behalf of the EFD, Mr. Batten, for two minutes. The agreement is proposed under the Lisbon Treaty and therefore lacks all democratic legitimacy. The peoples of Europe were systematically denied referenda on the Lisbon Treaty because the Europhile political elite knew that they would reject it. This is a problem that will come back to haunt us continually in the years to come. You have created an illegal state and now you are making illegal laws. Look at the way that this was done. Those few MEPs who were given access to this secret report or secret agreement were only allowed to see it after signing a declaration of honour not to reveal its contents. Most importantly, the people of Europe to whom the information actually belongs are totally unaware of its contents. More specifically, the proposed legislation is illegal under existing UK data protection law governing the international transfer of private citizens' personal details. Under the Act, such information cannot be shared without the, uh, the consent of the individuals concerned. The US authorities have already shown that they simply help themselves to such data as and when they feel fit. The USA cannot be trusted to observe other nations' rights. The confidential and private financial data in question belongs to the individual and not the European, uh, European Union or the European Parliament. They have no right to share it with the USA or anybody else. Britain's representative on the Council appears to have overridden existing national law in order to reach this agreement. By what right? However, we all know that the totally undemocratic and illegitimate EU legislation takes precedence over national democratic law. Terrorism has to be opposed, but it must not be used as a cloak to remove citizens' rights and protections. This is just the latest example of the, how the EU is creating an undemocratic, illegitimate political state. The UK Independence Party will vote against.